Last time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time Minimalist Quest. Hey, I can whoop Ganondorf's butt any time, any day of the week. Yeah, just go all out on him like this. Wait, what? What the heck? But I'm only 400 years old. Wow, that's old. Mr. Owl? No, 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 no. Yeah, where's it coming from? Go get it, Link. Go get it. Link. Did she just wink at Link? Whoa! What? Really, game? Really? Whoa! There we go. Yeah! Nice. Can't believe I just did that with like a quarter of a heart left. Man. Hey folks out there, this is TPPB. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Ocarina of Time, Endless Quest. Yeah, I know it's been a while, folks. Yeah, I had a really, um, really long summer. You know, for the most part, um, it was okay. It was, like, crazy hot, though. Like, um, since I live in Dallas, you know, we have, like, really hot summers. But this was ridiculous. We had at least 20... No, 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 no. It was more than 20. We had two months of straight 100-plus degrees weather. Like, what the heck, man? And on top of that, like, our nights was, like, 80 degrees. And, I mean, uh, 80 degrees was, was, like, only one day. Like, for the most part, it was, like, 86 or 87 or something. But, and enough about that. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we just, uh, finished the Shadow Temple. Um, well, we finished the Spirit Temple. But I just did the Shadow Temple as well. So, um, we got all the medallions, folks. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, um, I know I might sound a bit rusty. Pardon me for that. But yeah, look at that. It's all filled up now. So, you know what that means? Gotta head to the Temple of Time. Now, you may be wondering why I'm not just warping there. Well, I don't know. I guess I could. <laughs> um, wait. What is it? Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, man. It just feels so good to be able to record again. Did y'all miss me? I know I posted um one of my earlier uh, videos. I had made it, like, in... Well, I'll tell y'all about it later. Um, I've been waiting for you, Link. Oh, who's speaking? Yeah, I can't talk through this part. Oh, it's Sheik. Of course Sheik is going to meet us back here at the um, Temple of Time. But, eh, whatever. Uh, so. We've overcome many hardships and awakened the six sages. Yeah, I know, you, you didn't really do much to help. I mean, other than the, the one time you were really helpful, Sheik, was when you gave us the real cream of spirit. That was like the one thing that like you did for us that was actually required but eh whatever um okay maybe that hint um oh what am i doing i'm just talking through this stuff i'm supposed to be explaining this um okay another unknown legend of the triforce passed down by the shadow folk the sheikas why they gotta be shadow folk aren't they like um normal highlands or something i never understood that like, what separates the Sheikah from other people? Um, yeah, so they're pretty much just explaining, once again, that the uh, Triforce is in the Sacred Realm, and it reflects the spirit of the person who touches it. So, if an evil person touches it, then it becomes evil. And if a good person... Yeah, if a good person touches it, then, you know, good things will happen. So, it's a sacred triangle. It balances that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. Well, okay, I mean, is he, like, reading this from an instruction manual or something? I mean, how does he know all of this? <laughs> I mean, seriously, who... Well, whatever. Okay, so yeah, if you don't, if your heart is unbalanced, then you'll only obtain that one force, 
or one piece of the Triforce that um, represents your heart the most. So, long story short, Ganondorf tried to get the Triforce, and because his heart wasn't balanced, he only got the Triforce of Power. And, well, we'll find out who has the other two parts soon enough. Yeah. Just remember, those parts are Wisdom and Courage. I wonder who, who around here shows a unwavering sense of courage. I wonder who that could be. They probably have to have a sword with them at all times, you know, a little shield or not, or something. I don't know, but enough about that. <laughs> Man, I'm like so random. Um, okay, Triforce separates into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remaining in his hand. Yeah, that's what I just said. Um, so. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become the mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. Well, of course, you can't please them all. You know, anybody who's trying to take over the world, you know, the world is not enough. Uh, to gain complete mastery of the world, Gendor started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold to hold the uh, uh, two other parts. Oh, so he was looking for the people who had the other tri triangles. Oh, really? Huh, I never would have guessed. Okay, so... Um, yeah, who got the Triforce of Wisdom? Seventh Sage? Really, game? Are you serious? So, now there's a seventh one? Wait, what's this? Whoa. So she had the wait. A dress? Zelda's lullaby. Wait a second. Really game? So Zelda was chic. And I mean I knew that, but they did that whole gone incognito thing with Zelda trying to be all hidden and stuff. I mean, eh, I guess. Yeah, meeting you in the skies, but yeah, it was it was necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah, we forgive you, Princess Zelda. But I mean, you couldn't have told us sooner. I mean, we were worried about you. Oh yeah, I remember that. She was passing by um, on that horse. Oh yeah, and this is like the third time we've seen this scene. Yeah. That's where she tosses the Orcamina of Time. That was kind of a long throw you know, for a princess. Um, so yeah, she thought that we uh, could you know, benefit from having the Orcarina at that point in time. So as long as we had the Orcarina in our possession, um, she thought Ganondorf would never be able to enter the second round. But then, yeah, we kind of got trapped in time. I mean, couldn't somebody had done something about that? Like, wasn't there an off switch on the Master Sword or something? I mean... You know, I think all of this could have been prevented, but whatever. Yeah, this episode is probably going to be a lot of talking, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so pretty much she just explained that Gandorf was able to walk right in. Yeah, you know, me, I was saying that we should close the door, but you know, they don't have a, a on and off switch for that door, but yeah, whatever. Gandorf walks right in, got the Triforce, and took over the world, pretty much. So she went off into hiding and passed herself off as yeah, passed herself off as a Sheikah, um, and hoped that we would return. But okay, so what if we didn't return? Then she would have just been doing that for the rest of her life or something. I mean, what's that all about? Eh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, now that we're here, 
Um, yeah, Ganondorf will, uh, yeah, he better run now. Alright, so the six sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the sacred room. So, they're gonna seal him in the sacred realm, but isn't that, well, I, I guess. I guess since the Triforce is no longer there, I guess it wouldn't um, make much of a difference. Okay, so she needs our courage again. Yeah, please protect me while I do my part. Oh, so we gotta be your bodyguard now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? She's giving us a weapon? Oh, we get the light arrows. Yeah, I c been waiting for this one. Yeah. Now, I remember in the very first Zelda game, it was silver arrows that you had to use to beat Ganondorf. Or really, it was Ganon that you had to beat. Um, not light arrows, but I mean, I like light arrows better, because silver arrows, I don't know. That's, that's kind of going into the whole silver bullet, you know, scenario with like, uh, werewolves and all that, but I think light arrows are a lot better. Uh-oh. Rumbling. Uh-oh. It can't be. Wait, what? They turned Zelda into a rupee. What the heck? Are you serious? I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven months. Uh oh. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. So this was a trap. Oh well, not really a trap, but how did. Who's doing this? My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. Oh no, she's floating away! What? It was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. Oh, so this must be Ganondorf doing this. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Okay, so why doesn't he... Oh, I guess because... Link has the Master Sword, so that kind of magic won't work on him. Uh, dang, that's an evil laugh. Nuts. Whoa. And she's gone. Yeah, that's the last time I'm going to do that in this LP. Um, Alright, so. Okay, Zelda just got kidnapped, so let's go rescue her. Yeah, there really ain't much we can do. Um, yeah, in there, so yeah, let's head on to, um, Ganon's castle. Ooh, yeah, I've been waiting for this. Man, I can't believe we're almost done. <laughs> Although, it has been, like, how many months since I've posted a, uh, video? Jeez. Yeah, um, I know it's been too long. Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. Link, can you hear me? It's Raruru, the sage. We six sages will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. Alright, let's do it. Oh, pretty colors! Yay! Rainbow Road! Now we can, uh, race go-karts in space! Yeah! And eh, whatever. Okay. Let's go inside. Yeah. Okay, um... Now... I'm not sure what order I'm gonna do this in. Uh, yeah, this is Ganon's castle. Watch out for the Beemo statue. Um, but there's pretty much six rooms. Or six, uh... How should I say, I don't want to say like many dungeons, but like six, uh, 
places we have to go, yeah. Um, and I'm not sure what the best order to do those are in because I haven't done this in a while. And I probably should have practiced this beforehand. Um, now, I did not know this until I saw a newbie LPers um, LP of this game. You can walk through here and there's a bunch of fairies. I did not know that. Like, I've played this game for um, 10 years now. And I did not know that. Like, I can't believe, you know, I call myself um, a somewhat expert, or you know, and I didn't know a little secret like that. Like, that's crazy. But, um, I guess, oh, well, I can't do the water one because I just got a fairy. Because um, the water one, you're going to need an empty bottle to do, um, to capture some blue fire. I'm going to do the forest one. All right, um, let's see here. Let's take care of this, uh, oh yeah, wolf house, yeah. Let's... Dang it. All right. Hey, don't slash me with your claws. Oh, the treasure chest appears. I wonder what it could be. Surely it can't be nothing bad. Oh, five minutes. Okay, well, let's, um, Let's light up these torches. Yeah, I'm gonna need to use dense fire for this one. Yeah, I think these torches are on a timer, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna use dense fire. And then that torch on on the uh, door over there, I gotta um, gotta shoot with a fire arrow. So yeah. All right, simple enough. You know, it's not too challenging yet. Oh, in this room. Now, see, these, um, gust faces, or whatever these things are called, um, they weren't in the forest temple. Because, you know, like, each area in this place is supposed to sort of represent, um, the corresponding temple. Or, you know, the corresponding, uh, symbol above the door. And, like, there was, there weren't any of those in the forest temple. Not mistaken. But whatever. You know, consistency aside, let's um hit the switch down here. Um, what did that do? Um, oh, it raised that uh, yeah, that um pillar over there. So yeah, let's use our hook shot. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. There's one over there. Okay, so there's the other three. All right. Oh, um, also, where that fan was, you can play the Song of Time, and a block will appear right there, but I didn't do it since I'm uh, being kind of lazy. So, sorry about that. All right, but this isn't really too hard, you know, with the hover boots. I don't think this is possible to do without the hover boots. So, you know... This is just another one of instances where the hover boots are required, I think. You know, I'm not so sure now. Cause Okay, well, well yeah, anyways, um oh hurry, hurry, hurry. Get off the platform. Okay, okay, we're good. Whew, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that uh fan spinning there and I was about to get blown off there for a sec. Okay, um alright, now this room uh, like, there's gonna be one of these at the end of every, uh, area. And what you gotta do is hit that, uh, seed. Well, that's what I think it is. Like a seed of evil or something. Um, but, uh, whatever you, uh, wanna call it. You gotta hit it with a light arrow. And when you do that, it vanishes. And when that happens, one of the sages appear. In this case, Sarah. Um, so she's like, the forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, Link. Hey, don't tell me to rush. I'm doing the best I can. What? I mean, y'all act like, uh... Y'all act like, um... Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm only one man. Regardless, uh, okay, we got the forest down. So, one down, five to go. And I guess I'll do that in my next video. So, this is TVPB. See you guys later.